Hey yo, what's up guys? Here we have it. Another train set ready for us to review and take a look at. I received this train set on Christmas Day and I'm very happy to receive a train set this vintage. What year is this train from? I don't know how old is it, but you know what? It still looks fantastic. I'm probably gonna guess this train was made around maybe the 80s because it's classic Bachman. I mean, look at the all the logos on the boxes or the individual like the pods right here where the train is cradled in. This is the Silver Star. It comes with a Silver Santa Fe F7, which is fantastic, and I'm really excited to show off this type of engine. Here we have a coal car, and we have the, the, the box car, the caboose, and here's all the pieces in this set. Set contains 65 pieces. I wish it contained three more pieces, that way it could be 69. Enough shenanigans, let's just see what else in the train. So here's the very vintage old Bachman train set logo. There you go. Here's all like, you know, the facts and stuff, how much you get out of the set. There's like the radius around the track. Here we have the, the King of the Rail series. Silver Star! Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. And here we have the side of the box right here. You know, it has this very boring stuff down here, but it comes with a picture of the train that's very distressed. Here's the side of the box right here, and the other side of the box, but it's not so special, because I think the top is exactly the same. Yeah, it's clearly the same stuff. There's nothing in the back of the box, so, you know what, let's just crack this open, let's get onto it. But before I unbox this train set, just just witness the water damage on this. I mean, look at how absolutely disgusting all of this mildew and mold on it. That shows how old this train has been in its box. But anyway, you know what? Let's just care about the train that's inside. So let's just unbox this thing. Easy, and you see more of the damage right there it's very nasty you know at least the train is okay you yeah. all right i'll take the things out okay so let's unbox this beautiful thing so here i have some plastic right here we just lift this off i'm gonna take off this plastic to get this out of the way right here all right here we have the engine right here i'm gonna carefully take it out it's wrapped in very old tissue paper but you know what the train still looks fantastic there's a beautiful f7 right here you, have a close, you will have a better closer look once I um, take a look at the individual items for now. Alright, there's the F7 right here. Here you have the, the coal car right here, as you can see right there. You know, it's the most basic detailing on these, but you know what? I cannot blame because this is very this is some very old stuff. They didn't have the best technology during this time. What year is this? What? 70s or 80s? Alright, so here you have the box car. It says New Jersey. I already have these type of box cars, but these this one has like the older horn hook filters, which I don't like. But you know what? I can just do a simple mod just to couple it to other carriages. And here we have the caboose. Here's the Santa Fe caboose right here. It's very basic, but I like how they put little things that looks nice, like the little thing for the oven right here. It has a Santa Fe logo and a horn hook couplers, but but I don't like them, but at least it has a little bit of weight to it, which I like, because we'll see cabooses like this, but it's like a feather. And hook right here. Here we have the controller right here. Big and black. I already have another one of these controllers, but it's like from an N scale set, and I'm going to bet this one's going to work a lot better. So here you have the DC port and the AC port. There's no DCC because it didn't exist during this time. Here we have the cable for, you know, the, to connect to the track. And here's the cord to plug in into the wall socket. This is an American wall socket. And sorry for you British people out there. <laughs> and here we have the Bachman track right here. It's mostly curves right here. So this is where you plug this to that. So I'll demonstrate it later, but some older Bachman track, I'm gonna guess this is some steel track. You know, it's real steel. And here, we have some signs right with, I mean, these power line things, pieces of plastic, like I always say. 
Here we have some more railroad signs. These actually look quite nice. There's nothing in the back, but you want I like how they include stuff like this. This is what I'm excited for. They actually include people in this set. These people are not painted, however, which is going to be a pain in the ass to paint. And what else we have? Oh my gosh, there's a lot more underneath, but you know, it's mostly paperwork. Let me just get these right side of here. Here's some old paperwork. Here we have this very hilarious comment right here. You see like a Superman conductor right here. There's the NNW 611, I definitely know that. It's like a little magazine full of like, like vintage stuff. That's like a comment in here. I have no idea, but you know what? It's quite nice how they include something like this. There's Batman 1833. There's instructions, pouring paperwork in here. These papers are like <laughs> torn into crap. Looks like a rat been chewing on these. And, oh wait, hold up. The diesel engine was an F9 diesel. Let me show you how to take this thing apart. And that's it. Alright guys, so here's a better look at the silver F9. Now look at this beautiful model. Considering how old is it. So here's the side view of it. Very nice. See the metallic shine right there? You kind of see it. It's a, it's a little bit subtle. Yeah, and the detailing on the, the trucks actually look pretty nice for what they are. They actually look pretty nice, can you see? I'm very impressed at how much detail they actually put in the trucks. <laughs> the trucks look almost too good to be on this type of engine, but you know what? Since it's silver, that doesn't ruin it for me. It, it's still a nice looking model, considering the fact it's in a very, you know, like... It's in like a, not really the highest tier of type of train sets back in the day, but, well, I mean, train sets back in the day and train sets now are very different. You see the beautiful model right here, here we have the front again. Yeah, it's nice, it's very nice. It's a very nice model considering how old is it. So here's a comparison between a much newer model right here. This is uh, a, a this is another Bachman like F7, but it has DCC in it, and as you can see, it has like you know the, the good detailing. I say it's a little bit different from the other one. The trucks look not like decently good. I feel like the trucks. I rather prefer the trucks on the 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 F9 right here, the silver one. I prefer the trucks on these. I think they look a lot nicer. But you know what? See the differences between these engines are quite drastic. <laughs> this one, for some reason, the the older model is a little bit taller than the, the the DCC one. If the camera can focus, it looks a, a lot nicer with the silver paint. However, <laughs> that kind of beats it. I have another uh, F7 or F9 right here. I just take it all in. It's a uh, lifelike right here. It's it's gutted out. It does have a motor, unfortunately. Let me just back it up a bit. All right, so here I have a better look at all the different engines right here. You can definitely see the silver one sticks out. The back sides of them are very identical. They're really identical. Once you look at like you know the top down the view, you can definitely see the differences, especially on the sides right here. I feel like the 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 DCC one, the more modern one, has the best detailing on the body. In my opinion, I like the trucks on these better. Also, I like the paint job on this. The paint job on the the DCC one's more crisper than the the one from the Bachman sets. And the lifelike one probably has to be maybe the most basic one. But there you go. A look in between three different companies. Alright, so here we have the box car right here. It says New Jersey right here, as you can see. It has this reading on the side right here. It has the same on the other side. Here you have, like, you know, the, well, either the back or front. But, you know, it's a typical box car. There's nothing too special about it. It does have some detailing right here. Right here has a little wheel thing that applies the brakes. Has a thing that runs across the, 
the top of the car and it comes with these little horn hook couplers as you can see right here these are like the little horn hook couplers that look like the shape of a rhinoceros but you know i'm not really a big fan of the horn hook couplers but you know i could do a simple mod where i can make the knuckle couplers connect with horn hook couplers all right here we have the union pacific coal car as you can see it says union pacific up there or aka up not up the uh, not up the movie I'm, I'm talking about up union pacific but you know it's basic it's typical rolling stock it does have the wheel thing like on the box car has ladders has rivets all over it it's quite nice and there's nothing too special about these cars i mean they're typical for what they are and what their ages has right on the side right there it's a sh ship right there and it has the Union Pacific right there but it has like detailing inside and it I seen some cars I know I have cars just I have cars just like this but it has like some of them have like little cold tops on top of them and uh, I think this is the only car that I have with horn hook couplers. I think the rest of the cars that I have are contain like, you know, normal couplers. I think I changed one of them. I think I have another one which I did change it, but I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Alright, so here we have the Santa Fe caboose right here. And it's a very basic caboose. Ooh, it's a very basic caboose. It does have a cupola on top right there. It has a Santa Fe logo right here. It has a little thing that I like right here, the little chimney part as you can see right there. It's very like, you know, basic on the top. It has a little tiny imperfection right there on the walkway board. I feel like this one, like, you know, barely even painted. It's just a hunk of plastic, unfortunately. Not the most nicest one, but there's nothing in the bottom of these. Actually, I haven't showed the bottom of these yet, but they're basic. They're very basic rolling stock, but look, considering the age of this toy, well, I feel like this is kids will have such a blast playing with these type of trains, and that's why I love about these old, older type of trains. The more affordable, and also they can just you know get away with you know typical stuff. I just want to try out one more thing right here. So here we have the piece of track right here from the Bachman set, and here we have a piece of easy track that's from the much later sets and what the advantage that easy track has that it has this extra coupling hook so that way you can couple things together and it's like a it's like a road bed so you're it's like like a road bed for like like gravel and stuff i've seen people online who ballast this type of stuff but this track it's it's you know, technically they're both the exact same track but this is on this plastic bit right here but the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a question. Is this steel track? I have a magnet, and if it magnetized, things are going to go wrong. Oh. As you can see, it's steel track. If it magnetized, it's steel track. And what happens to steel track over time? Well, it's going to turn into this. But I think the Bachman Easy Track is steel track too. No, it's not. Okay, time to build this layout. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the tracks together. So, as you can see right there, both of them are joined together like this. And how to put them together, you just get both of them like this, and they have their little grooves right here. And you just slide them together. That's it. If I can, if the camera can focus, and if I could put these things together. It's a little bit fiddly than putting the, you know, the easy track, but there you go, that's how you put them together. I just need more of these and it would be good to go. Let me just There we go. The layout's complete. Now here we have locomotive and cars ready to go on the track. But before we do that, we got to settle the power plug right here. Okay, so first you take the big black blocks right here, the box right here. So first you got to put these pitchforks right here aka the devil's pitchforks into here at the dc port because you don't want to put an ac or your wrist destroying the locomotive so whoever does that is a fucking dumbass 
But anyway, first you get a screwdriver, you put the forks in here. So first you have to screw the screw right here. If I can get it in the right direction right here. So you first you screw the screws right there. So that way they're screwed. And then you put in the two forks right here. And then you get the screwdriver. And you screw the screws right here in place. Careful if they don't move. You just screw the screws. It's very easy. It's simple. It's a little bit finicky like this. But you then you get them like that. Then you can put this down right there. And that way you can control it. Whatever direction you like to. And what you want to do is take this thing right here. And plug it in right there. Just force it on there. Don't put it too tight. I don't know if I got it the wrong way around, but that's how it goes like, right there. Finally, you have to move your plant all the way, and then you can see your air freshener right there. And then you go underneath your air freshener and plug in the, into the outlet right here. I got it the wrong way around. Just plug it in like that, and your train set is gonna be ready to soon to run. All right, let's put the train on the tracks. So here we have the beautiful F7 right here. We just gotta line it up on the rails right here. Let's see if it's good. It's good right here, so you can push that along. Let's put the box car right here. Let's put it on the truck like this. So know what, where you're at, so you just carefully put it on and then just give a train on the, oh, it's a little bit derailed right here. That's why you have to push it around. It's good right here. Couple it up like that. Couple. There we go. Push that along right. Oh, it uncoupled. Hopefully that doesn't uncouple. Put in the the coal car right here. And just couple that up. Push that along. And then finally the cherry on the top. The caboose. Caboose. Just couple it up to the train and it'll be going. Alright, we got the train ready right here. See it has this entire train. It's constants right here. And here's what the whole entire layout looks like. All right, let's give this baby a spin. All right, so here you have the transformer right here. No, not robots in disguise right here. All right, let's crank it up. And the train is starting. This is the first time it's moving in so long. Here comes the train. Oh! Lost his cars. All right, take two. There we go. Let's speed up the train. Ready? Starting out real slow right here. There goes the train right there. We can cross the curves. Get a little bit of speed. Here comes the train. Eesh, look at that. All right, so this is the whole entire train set. Besides the, all those other, like, you know, poles around it. And these other signs and uh, like what pedestrians. I don't know if I'm gonna paint these, but it'll be a pain in the ass to paint. But just you know what? Forget about that. Just admire the train right here. Crank up the speed. 
Here we go. Super fast train. Oh my gosh, that thing. Oh, I lost this car. And stop. Whoa, it's going backwards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get your train. Get your train back. Get your train.